coming to music therapy for about six months and when he was referred, I think he was in really quite a difficult period in his life. So um, could you tell me a bit about what was going on for him? Because you, you work with him in the classroom, so you know him well. Yeah, Dermot was going through a very high period of anxiety. He was really struggling in terms of the level of isolation he was facing, which was self-inflicted, but his anxiety was just so high. He was aspects of his timetable. He couldn't access the normal opportunities that we would try and promote here. Um, it was very inflexible, a lot of challenging behaviours were being presented and he was having a lot of difficulty even eating at the time. And, and how was Dermot sort of spending his, his day around that time? What would a normal day look like for him? Dermot's normal day was a lot of time outside by himself. He struggled with activities within a classroom setting, he struggled with other pupils being around him and even staff actually asking him anything. Um, he was facing that in the residential side of the school as well as the main school building. Yeah, yeah. and he was referred to music therapy as part of his stress reduction plan. Mm -hmm. Tell me what your feelings were at the first session that Dermot came to music therapy because you, you saw how he was when he arrived. Can you tell me a bit about what happened? Yeah, Dermot's first music therapy session was absolutely amazing. Uh, we were so proud and pleased when we saw the way he behaved. Um, very surprised. I had expected him to experience very high anxiety at that session. So we sent two staff members along with him. We never actually needed two staff with him at that point in time. Um, he really came out of his shell, very flexible, showed great flexibility of thought, brilliant ability to verbalise, which he was struggling with so much. He was able to say no, he was able to physically and verbally say no um, before his anxiety got too high to deal with the situation. And after that, he asked if he would see Janet again next week. Yeah. Also looking forward to the next session. Yeah. And it's been great to work with him, you know, because he sings, he plays the instruments, he moves around the room. And that's really the only way that I know Dermot is how he is in, in those sessions. Yeah. So it's fascinating for me to hear how he, has, how he has been or how he was before he started coming. So did you see much impact on the rest of his life as a result of starting music therapy? Yeah, his whole stress reduction plan, which music therapy is a key part of, has impacted his life massively. He accesses so many more opportunities at the moment. We're looking at expanding the things that he can take part in at the residential side of the school, hopefully horse riding one day soon. Um, he has a much fuller timetable. He handles changes very well. He can cope with situations which before would have just been far too much for him to handle. Um, he speaks to pupils now as well as staff and the trusting relationships he's built up with staff now are just fantastic. Oh, it's great to hear, he's a real pleasure to work with. Thank you for your part in it. Music therapy impacts onto the curriculum in lots of different ways and that very personalised relationship that the young people have with the therapist and the, and the elements of that that work really well, staff are able to observe that and take elements of that back into uh, everyday curriculum that happens with the young people and to build on those strengths and use the motivators when they see the young people really enjoying themselves and um, having a very positive interaction they can creatively think about how I can adapt that within a lesson to, um, to, to promote that skill um, and for them to feel that same feeling they had in the music therapy session within the classroom. <laughs> Music therapy does offer something very unique to the children with, with autism um, and on the autism spectrum. It really enables an opportunity for expression and uh, a development of their communication and it doesn't just focus on the music side of it, it's really about that relationship and building up um, opportunities where they can feel they're having a success and it's a very positive experience for them. So that's a really important part of learning for any young person. And so if there's been gaps in a young person with autism's learning, this is a really effective way of enabling them to experience success and then for it to be uh, promoted in other areas of their learning. Each pupil here at New Student is completely unique and they can express that in the way that they make music through the different tones, the different rhythms, the different ways they use the instruments and their voices, they can express their personalities in music therapy. <laughs>